mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, 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 have mercy. Lord, 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 have mercy. May God Almighty have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us listen for the voice of the Lord and enter into his peace, Psalms and Canticle from Saturday week four. It is good to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night on the ten-stringed lyre and the lute with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It is, it is good, good to, to make music, music to your name, O Most High, high to, proclaim to proclaim your love, love in the morning. morning. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness and from all your idols I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you, and a new spirit I will put within you. I will take out of your flesh the heart of stone, and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and to cause you to walk in my statutes, and to be careful to observe my ordinances. You shall dwell in the land which I gave to your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I, I will, will give, give you a, a new heart, heart and, and put, put a, a new spirit, spirit in you. On the lips of children and of babes you have found the praise, Lord. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to all your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crown him. Gave him power over the works of your hand, put all the things under his feet. 
all of them, sheep and the cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and the fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. On, On the, the lips of, of children, children and of and babes, of babes you, you have found praise, praise Lord. Lord. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the most holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord our God, through her intercession, that we too may merit receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the third letter of St. John. My friend, you have done faithful work in looking after these brothers, even though they were complete strangers to you. They are a proof to the whole church of your charity, and it would be a very good thing if you could help them on their journey in a way that God would approve. It was entirely for the sake of the name that they set out without depending on the pagans for anything. It is our duty to welcome men of this sort and contribute our share to their work for the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, happy the man who fears the Lord. Happy the man who fears the Lord. Happy the man who fears the Lord, who takes delight in all his commands. His sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Happy the man who fears the Lord. Riches and wealth are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. Happy, Happy the, the man, man who fears, fears the Lord. Lord. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honor. The just man will never waver. He will be remembered forever. Happy the man who fears the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Accept and submit to the word which has been planted in you and can save your souls. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My sisters, my brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the need to pray continually and never lose heart. There was a judge in a certain town, he said, who had neither fear of God nor respect for people. In the same town, there was a widow who kept on coming to him and saying, I want justice from you against my enemy. For a long time he refused. But at last he said to himself, maybe I have neither fear of God nor respect for people. But since she keeps 
pestering me. I must give this widow her just rights, or she will persist in coming and worry me to death. And the Lord said, You notice what the unjust judge has to say? Now will not God see justice done to his chosen who cry to him day and night, even when he delays to help them? I promise you, he will see justice done to them and done speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find any faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm sure that all of us agree that quite a lot of people would say that they have much in common with a widow. Because many people are always fighting. I mean, you guys know that. You always have somebody telling you about the injustice done to them and how much they're seeking to get their rights. Rights are taken away or ignored always defending themselves against an adversary. Huh? And there are some people after a while that just give up. They can't do anything about it. Other people ceaselessly pursue justice for their rights or the rights of others or for some just cause. So you have a lot of people in the world like that. And today, Jesus he knows the problems, and that is why today he's saying, summoning us to be persistent in prayer. No? To keep on praying without ceasing. And then he gave the comparison between the judge in the parable of today, saying this, he's a wicked person. But in the end, for his own good, he gave the woman her justice. And, the, and we have to compare him also with even those people that in general would give justice are try to do it. But the point I think Jesus is making is God is different. God is a God of justice. And more than anyone else, God is seeking justice of people. All the more than anybody else, once God hears the cry of the poor. In fact, you don't even have to call his name. He hears the cry of people for justice. And once he hears their cry, he will go to their help. But the problem with people is that it seems sometimes as if God is not listening or he doesn't care because they're calling out for justice for so long. In fact, we have the, the beautiful hymn that says, How can you really care? with fury everywhere, no? So, and I believe sometimes they feel like that. If there's a God, why all of these bad things are happening? Sometimes our prayers seem to go unanswered, no? And, and, and so Jesus is telling us today that yes, God might delay in coming to our help, but don't lose faith because God hears. And God is always on the side of justice. And he will make justice. Probably not in our time, but in his own good time, which is what we don't like. We want him to make it in our time, which is why sometimes we lose heart. But he's letting us know, no. Yes, there are times when God is going to delay. And he wants us to know also that no situation is too hopeless, no problem too great. No mountain too high, no ocean too wide or too deep. But God is always in control. And God will hear our cry and take care of us. But we need the virtue of patience. You know? We need the virtue of patience in order to be able to wait until when God is ready. Not just when we are ready. Yes, we must make sure that we are ready when he is ready. But the question sometimes is not about our readiness. It's, all, it's about his readiness. No? And, and so I think the Lord is saying that we need to ask a strong faith and endurance. Strong faith and endurance. Because the situation 
sometimes it's not that easy. You do come across some people, the things that they're going through, and they keep crying out to God, and he seems not to hear them. So we need strong faith. We need endurance. We need patience. And I suppose one of the things that we can do is to remember the past mercies of God. To remember when God was there for us. And then to trust that he will do the same again. You have a lot of Psalms like that. Where they're asking for God for help. I remember what God did for them. And based on what God did for them in the past, they fully believe that he will do the same. Well, we have to do that, especially when he seems to delay. Perseverance is a very important word. Patience is another one. No? No? And if you don't have those, people are going to break our spirit and help cancel our trust in God. But the, the other question that I ask, if not God, who, who then? No? Who can I depend on apart from God? Because all human beings will come to the point with a fall. No? And there'll be no more. So who can I depend on? I really have no choice. That even however long that God is delaying, I must put my trust in him and wait on him. And believe that God knows what God is doing. He's a plan, the planner of the universe. The great architect and builder. And I have to depend on him. And wait on him. But let not our faith be become weak. But let our faith be strong. Our courage, our patience, our perseverance. Let them grow and know that yes, God hears our cry and he will come to our aid. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Father, send us your spirit. Father, send us, send us your, your spirit. spirit. God's gift was not a spirit of timidity, but the spirit of power and love and self-control. With complete confidence, we pray. Father, Father send, send us, us your, your spirit. spirit. Praise be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Christ, you have given us every spiritual blessing. Father, Father send, send us, us your, your spirit. spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit, Mary brought Christ into the world. Through the church, may Christ be born again today in the hearts of men and women. Father, Father send, send us, us your, your spirit. spirit. Father, may your spirit lead us forward out of solitude. May he lead us to open the eyes of the blind, to proclaim the word of the light, to reap together the harvest of life. Father, Father send, send us, us your, your spirit. spirit. Let our striving for your kingdom not fall short through selfishness or fear. May the universe be alive with the spirit and our homes be the pledge of a world redeemed. Father, Father, send, send us, us your, your spirit, spirit and let us lift up Francis and Jason, our bishops, and pray that through them God will help us all to understand that persevering in prayer can help us trust God more, make us become more open to God's will, and develop a closer bond with God, we pray. Father, send, send us your spirit. We place in your hands, dear Lord, those who are sick, increase their faith and trust in you, that you will not leave them orphans, but visit them with your healing touch. We pray. Father, send us your spirit. Lord, bless us with what we need for today, and grant that we will never remain silent in the face of human rights violation. We pray. Father, send us your spirit. We lift up today's meeting of the, the leaders of the church in order to discern where God wants us to go in the future. We pray. 
Father, send us your Spirit. Come to us, Lord Jesus, in Holy Communion, and dwell in our hearts, minds, and souls. May we always find consolation, joy, and contentment in the fact that you have made your home in us. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash us, Lord, from our iniquity and cleanse us from our sin. Pray, my sisters, pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord our God, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name as we celebrate the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light Jesus Christ, O Lord and God. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim holy. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith when we eat, eat this bread, bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jason, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We lift up to the Lord those whose names are written and placed at the foot of this altar. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, let us now call out to God, O Father, giving thanks and praise for that blessed assurance that despite God's delay, God is always on our side and will make justice for us. So let us dare say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For Lord, the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Moved by God's love, let us share with one another the divine peace, the peace of Christ. Let us 
Lamb of God, you You take take away away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace, Lamb of God. Grant us your peace, Lamb of God. My sisters, my brothers, behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for us a healing remedy and keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. If we eat of the Lord, and we drink of the Lord, like the Lord we shall all be, then we live with his life, and we share in his love, and his truth will make us free. The Lord tells us his plans, listen to his commands, to the Father come through me. Share this banquet of love. Eat my flesh, drink my blood. Do this in my memory. This command, says the Lord, I give specially to you. Love each one as I love you. By this sign all will know what I have to bestow. Through this love, man, I renew. From this banquet of life, bring my love to the world. Be a sign for all to see that I bring man my peace through the breaking of bread that I come to make him free. If we eat of the Lord and we drink of the Lord, like the Lord we shall all be. And we live in his life, and we share in his word, and his truth will make us free. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving 
every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, every moment thine. Let us, dear friends, may the art of spiritual communion. My Lord Jesus, you are our all in all, and we believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist. We believe, Lord, that you are present there because of your great love for us and because you do not want to leave us orphans, but want to come and dwell in our hearts and souls and minds, Lord Jesus, we love you above all the things, and we desire to receive you into our, this, the deepest part of our beings. Come in, Lord. Dwell within us. Reign within us. But, Lord, at this moment, we cannot receive you sacramentally. So come to us in a spiritual manner. Come, Lord, and take up residence in every part of our being. Embrace us and give us that blessed assurance that we belong to you. And, Lord, help us to embrace you and unite ourselves holy and completely to you, and never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand for the Benedictus. Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David, his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy ones, those who are his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our foes from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, on the sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Novena for the souls in purgatory, day three. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Me. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal Father, Father I, I offer you the body and blood, blood soul and divinity of your daily beloved Son, Son our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and, and those of the souls in purgatory. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the souls in purgatory. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the souls in purgatory. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the souls in purgatory. Holy, holy God, holy, holy mighty one, one, holy immortal one, one, have mercy on us and the souls in purgatory. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the souls in purgatory. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the souls in purgatory. Today we bring the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God. Immerse them in your unfathomable mercy. Most merciful, merciful Jesus, Jesus, from the treasury of your mercy, Impart your graces in great abundance and all devout and faithful souls and immerse them in the ocean of your mercy. Receive them into the abode of your most compassionate heart and never let them be separated from you. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the faithful souls as the inheritance of your Son. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, Grant them your blessing and surround them with your constant protection. Thus may they never lose the treasure of holy faith, the glory and peace of heaven, but rather with all the hosts of angels and saints, may they glorify your boundless mercy for endless ages. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God Almighty bless you and keep you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to And have a wonderful day, my friends. Same to you, Father. Number 152, Gentlewoman. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Gentle woman, quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright. Gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us love. You were chosen. By the Father, you were chosen for the Son. You were chosen from all women, and for woman, shining one, gentle woman. Quiet light, 
morning star, so strong and bright, tender mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us love, blessed are you among women. Blessed in turn, all, all women too. Blessed they with peaceful spirits. Blessed they with gentle hearts. Gentle woman, quiet life. Morning star, so strong and bright. Tender mother, peaceful dove. Teach us wisdom, teach us love. Teach us wisdom, teach us love.